Alright guys, another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be utilizing a direct TV slimline all satellite dish for a solar pole mount or for mounting solar panels. So this one has all the uh, the uh, bells and whistles and you guys can see all you can able to adjust your altitude you can able to adjust your elevation your your azimuth so you can see all the numbers and I'm gonna keep this this is the reason why I decided to um, grab this unit because I got it for free um, someone was uh, someone threw it away so I decided to take this one so these can see the tilt you can tell how many degrees so I don't have to be really stranded anymore to get all the numbers I can able to line up my dish well accurately yeah you can see it's just been there for a while cobwebs over there so I can just play with these numbers a little bit and twist the tilt so what I'm gonna be utilizing into this uh, uh, direct TV satellite I don't need this arm for the LNB over there, which is uh, uh, the the eye, and um, the dish itself is a 33, 33 inches wide by 23, so it's a pretty much a uh, big dish. It's called Directv called it. Uh, um, uh, slim line something like that so you guys can see I can put the tape if you look at it closely you will see what I'm talking about it's 33 inches okay like 33 and a half inches and if we decided to go from here uh, sorry all right, if we decide to do the measurement here, you guys can see is uh, approximately uh, 33, uh, 23 right here. So I don't need this, all these uh, stuff I'm doing just to tell you how big or how wide it is, but um, this is the dish. Well, this is the slim line by DirecTV one of the old satellite dish so um, stay tuned I'm gonna be tearing up this di uh, dish and uh, get the parts that I wanted into it which is this um, machine here I've seen it someone selling on um, eBay and all that thing cost like some people have wanted about 50 bucks for this or 20 bucks or whatever. But I got it for free. Stay tuned and watch the video. Alright guys. You see this is what I'm going to be doing. Removing these brackets which I'm going to be using. I want to use this one. Let me closer. I'm going to be using this. That's the main purpose. So I'm gonna take this one off. I have my half inch. So I'm taking this thing off. Taking this one down. It's not hard. Take this one off. you guys can see I already got them all loosened up taking them off I'm gonna recycle this once I need them for future purpose the dish is out is out okay totally down I don't need this would that be nice I think it's a look aluminum to use for future purpose but I don't have time for that so I need these guys here gonna utilize them always nice to 
get all these uh, stuff and just save them for future use so gonna be useful right now and this is what I have here this is the device I need I need it most right there so tearing down this thing I want to make sure I'm gonna take these uh, bolts right here and screws and I'm gonna stay with uh, left with this mechanism right here which I need for my uh, project stay tuned all right I'm gonna be taking this down removing this big ball here this is not the right tool this is and this is it's gonna be out I'm getting more screws here, as you guys, bolts and nuts and screws. All right, guys, you guys see what I have left here is the LNB, which stands for low noise block. This is the one that transmits high frequency to low frequency that adjusts, take the signal from up space to um, your internal cables and all the way to your receiver for you to get pictures so I already dismantled the entire thing you guys can see this arm is useless now you know it's useful to other people who want to do other projects but you guys can check out my free-to-air satellite you guys can see how I designed my own satellite I built my satellite so I can get more a lot of channels free-to-air satellite or FTA by JW Solar USA, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. It's a nice satellite though. It's always useful. Always got to have some of this stuff, you know. Um, you can able to use a lot of projects. You can see it's a direct TV um, right here. Direct TV, slim line. So all I need, all I need is the uh, all I need is this component here. This is the main machine I need. And this is the one that is gonna go on the pole. Uh, it looks like a one and a half inch pole or two inch pole. You see this side is gonna be the top because when you you put a pole, the rod or the, uh, yeah, the pole, it sits right there. You see, it blocks. These are the few things here, object that is here to block the pole from sliding coming all the way up. So if it's coming like this, it's going to sit right there. So it's not going anywhere. So it's a smart technology. I like that. There are a lot of people who are really smart. You can see who designed this one. You can see the elevation right there. So I can able to elevate my panels without... Um, guessing or whatever as long as long as i know the the, the elevation and I, I don't have to use any um meter you use to um adjust your satellites i just have to loosen this one adjust this one a little bit and i can able to have the elevation back and forth this one this arm is going to strengthen it lock it in instead of sliding you know when you put the weights right here it sits the panel is going to be sitting here the frame the brackets gonna sit right here it's kind of tough 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 metal right here so it's gonna really be stable this arms gonna hold it I even if uh, the lock knots here whatever tend to get tired or slip or whatever one here and this one's gonna hold it too but these are cool features about this you can able to uh, the elevation is here you can able to elevation right here you can able to um, here what I'm trying to do the skew they call the skew on satellite which is uh, um, the tilt you can able to spin this thing you turn it this way the way you want it to go you know how you want it to um, tilt the thing let me say you facing that certain direction that maybe obstruction is there you can able to tilt the solar panel maybe this way Folks, see my hands are all dirty because the satellite dish is dirty. Look at all this spider web. 
or cobwebs you call them and uh, I can it's, it's a cool design and I'm gonna be locking up I can tilt this thing all the way down here see right a lot of room so this is what I want to do I can able to take just these com components from here just these units here and this one here if I don't need this one this one will frame but it's nice because I can able to twist the uh, the panel this way or tweak it this way for the um, for the tilt I can tilt it it's gonna be vertical but I can tilt it this way I can tilt it the other way so that's a cool design and it's good because um, I, I, I'm able to get one of these uh, device I'm really I'm so happy I'm really really happy to able to utilize this and all you see all the gadgets the component of all this stuff well this is all I have to show you guys and uh, yeah it's a cool 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 feature here and stay tuned you guys are gonna be seeing all my upcoming videos and subscribe like and share how you can see you can mount solar panel on an old satellite dish uh, uh, um, mount okay satellite um, bracket mount thanks for watching subscribe like and share bye for now